Hey guys, welcome back to JuberTech channel. In today's video, we're going to explore how to add a typing indicator to a chat app in Flutter with Firestore. Here's the chat app that we built in our previous videos. Let's try chatting to this other device. As you can see, while typing, a typing indicator appears. If we open this, there's also a typing indicator. And if this device starts typing, the other device will also display a typing indicator. So how is this achieved? The key here is to simply store an is typing boolean flag for the members of your chat room. In the UI, monitor keyboard visibility and set is typing to true when the keyboard appears and false when it disappears. Then in your list style and within your chat room screen, display a typing indicator widget when the person you're chatting with updates their is typing flag to true. As simple as that. I won't be coding this live since everyone has their own coding style and state management preferences. Instead, I'll guide you through the relevant code so you can understand the concept and implement it on your own style. We start from the folder structure. We have a features folder here and inside there's a chat feature. This chat feature contains the sub features where we find the typing indicator feature. Within the typing indicator are all the widgets and classes related to this feature. Let's explore all of this one by one. Let's start from this keyboard stream listener. This is a state notifier subclass that uses the Flutter keyboard visibility package to listen to the keyboard visibility. There's nothing new here if you've worked with stream subscription before. And if you're unfamiliar with state notifier subclass, you can handle this directly in your widget. You can visit Flutter Keyboard Visibility Package on how to do it directly in the widget. You can also find more alternative ways on how to listen to the keyboard visibility because this package provides three methods on how to do it, so you can choose the option you're comfortable with. I chose this approach to separate it from the UI, preventing our UI code from getting cluttered with boilerplate. I also made this chat keyboard listener widget. This widget is responsible for listening to our keyboard stream listener provider. This also defines the action method passed as a parameter. This is the function being activated whenever there is a change in the value of this is visible. If is visible is true, it means the keyboard is open. If false, it means it's closed. Within this toggle typing method, we retrieve a copy of user's data and update the is typing field based on the value passed from the stream listener. After that, we invoke the update chatroom method, passing the chatroom's ID and the updated data. Now, in this list style typing indicator, this is a widget responsible for checking the peer data's is typing field. If it's true, we return the typing indicator widget. If false, we return the regular child. This typing indicator is a simple widget utilizing SpinKit 3 bounds from the Flutter SpinKit package. Feel free to design your own custom typing indicator widget. I only chose this package for simplicity and for demonstration purposes. Similarly, in our chatroom screen, I made the chatroom screen typing indicator that displays the typing indicator widget when required. 
this widget accepts a child which represents the chatroom screen's body. We wrap it in a column and here we verify the peer data's is typing status. If true, we display the typing indicator widget. Those are all the codes related to the typing indicator feature. The key takeaway here isn't the specific code, but understanding how the components work together. Once you grab the core idea, coding becomes much more manageable. In conclusion, adding a typing indicator to your Flutter chat app with Firestore enhances the user experience and brings a touch of realism to your chat functionality. By simply using a boolean flag and monitoring keyboard activity, you can provide live feedback to your users. Remember, the beauty lies not just in coding but understanding how everything interconnects. With this knowledge, you can adapt and innovate according to your project needs. Thank you so much for tuning in guys. If you found this video helpful, please give it a big thumbs up, share it with your fellow Flutter enthusiasts, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Your support encourages me to create more valuable content like this.